So, yeah, let's get started. So, the first one, actually, that I'm going to show is the first tattoo that I ever got on my... Well, I guess this is not really my stomach, but... <laughs> um, so, it was just three X's that I decided to get. I really don't know why I decided to get this tattoo. Um, I know that I... Well, MGK has a triple X tattoo on his groin area, um, and I wanted to have, like, a matching tattoo with MGK. This is before I got my double X tattoo on my neck, so I figured I would get that tattoo, and it's not... I'm just glad that it's super small, and I decided, I, you know, I didn't decide to make it, like, super big, because that would have been ten times harder to cover up. I'm not really interested in covering up this tattoo, so... Yeah, uh, by the way, this is a continuation of the snake that goes up through my sternum. So, the next tattoo that I got is my Sin Yellow tattoo, which translates to, well, I already just said it, without fear. It literally means without fear. Oh, wait, no. I thought I translated it before I paused the video, but I guess I didn't, so. Uh, it says Sin Yellow, which means without fear. Sorry, I paused the video and I went to get a drink and then for some reason I thought I explained what it meant, but I got this tattoo because I love the saying and I wanted like a big statement piece on my stomach, so I decided to go with that. And this tattoo actually wasn't that bad to get. I think it was because there's no color and it was just all lining which, for some reason for me, um, lining doesn't really hurt that much, but when I get to the shading over all of the areas that have already been worked on, that's like the worst part ever for me. It's so uncomfortable. I don't mind this tattoo, but if I had to go back and something about it, or if I could, I would probably change the, uh, font, because the font, to me, just doesn't really, like, I don't know what it is, maybe it just wasn't done, you know, all that good, but it's, like, not my favorite in terms of, like, the little hooks on the, like, right here and right here. I'm just not the biggest fan of that, so if I could go back and change something, I would probably change the font because it's not my favorite. I wanted something that was like super like extreme that would kind of like curve but when we put it on my stomach he said it'd look better if it was straight which you know agree to disagree but <laughs> um, uh, so yeah that was this tattoo. By the way if I had to rate my tattoos on terms of pain like pain the pain scale I would literally give my triple X's like a two, and then I would probably give this one like a five, I would say. So the next ones that I got are my tiger tattoos, which I've already shown a few times now. So this is my tiger tattoo. I kind of call these my protectors. I got these for two people that have passed away in my life. And now I have two tigers in the exact same spot on my stomach. This one is more filled in than the other one, as you can see. And I actually don't mind that. I wanted them to be identical, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so yeah, I actually really love these tattoos. My dad has like, almost the same tattoo as this tiger, um, on his arm. And I've always loved that tiger. I've always loved how it looks. And if I had to rate these ones on the pain scale, I would probably say, like, I don't even know, <laughs> like a six... I think that when I got this one done, 
I was just like the artist kept taking breaks so he would come back to it and it would hurt you know because he'd take a break and like my skin was super inflamed but this one I don't think he really took any breaks with this one so I ended up getting them on separate days so I had one tiger for like a week and then um I got this one after that week so So, I'm 